Download the free WDIO mobile app for your smartphone and tablet. Up next on Eyewitness News, this defendant is headed to life in prison for the murder of a Hibbing man. Things are not looking good for parts of Texas as Hurricane Harvey is getting closer and closer, and Cloquet Middle Schoolers will be enjoying this brand new building in less than two weeks. Live from the WDIO Broadcast Studios, this is Eyewitness News at 5 on WDIO WIRT. Good afternoon, I'm Renee Passal. A jury has found Joseph Thorson guilty on two counts of first-degree murder for the ball club beheading murder. The week-long murder trial just wrapped up today in Grand Rapids, and our reporter Bailey Warfield is standing by live there. Bailey, how long did the jury take to deliberate? Well, Renee, the jury deliberated for a little more than three hours here at the Itasca County Courthouse. Family members from both sides were in the courtroom as the verdict was read. It did stay relatively calm. There were some tears on both sides. And as for Joseph Thorison, he stayed calm as well, simply turning around and mouthing I love you to his family who were sitting in the front row. Thorison was immediately sentenced to life without parole. He has been on trial all week, facing four counts of murder, two first degree and two second degree. He was found not guilty on the two second degree charges. He and his girlfriend, Kayleen Greniger, are accused of beating, stabbing, and then beheading David Hyman, a 20-year-old from Hibbing. Throughout the week, the jury heard from Greniger, other friends, relatives, and witnesses, law enforcement, and the medical examiner. The medical examiner determined the beheading was Hyman's cause of death. This morning, we heard closing arguments from both sides. Prosecution stuck with the theme, nobody tells Joe no. Prosecutor Todd Webb says that is why several people who saw something suspicious did not come forward right away. And defense attacked Kayleen Greniger's testimony. Attorney Steve Bergeson called her a cold-blooded killer in his closing argument. He says she gave a wonderful Oscar-worthy performance on the stand when she told the jury that Thorison is a monster. He tried to emphasize the parts of the crime where he says the state did not sufficiently prove Thorison was involved. Defense argued Greniger conned the police, the people around her, and the prosecution. He left the jury with these words, don't let her con you. And as for Thorson, after that verdict was read, he told the court that he is a good person and that David Hyman was a good friend. Renee, regarding Greniger, he told the judge, quote, because of her, I've lost my life as well. Oh, all right, just a terrible story. Thank you. Police in Fargo say they are questioning two people in the disappearance of a pregnant woman. 22-year-old Savannah Graywin went missing Saturday, last seen at her North Fargo apartment. Police stormed that apartment, taking two into custody and removing a newborn baby from the scene. The infant appeared to be about two days old and healthy. Ground, air and river searches in the Fargo and Grand Forks areas so far have proved unsuccessful. The state patrol says two women were hurt early this morning in a rollover crash near Grand Lake and Saginaw. According to the agency, Kate Parento of Two Harbors was driving north in the southbound lanes of Highway 33 when she went off the road near Berg Road. The SUV rolled into the ditch. She and her passenger, Karina Flame of Duluth, had injuries that were not life-threatening. And Justin, a decent Friday to start our weekend off, wasn't it? Uh, not bad. We're starting to see some increasing clouds now as we are going to be looking at quite a bit of rain over the course of the weekend. Many areas of the Northland could be picking up as much as one to two inches, including here in the Twin Ports. We do have some light scattered showers uh, to our south right now, but really what we're looking at is what's out west in the Dakotas. Now that's eventually going to slide eastward, and during the day tomorrow, we'll take over the Northland. We're actually going to see it actually uh, start early tomorrow morning. Plus we're looking at a lake wind and fog, so uh, a bit of a gloomy day and temperatures Many of us will hang out in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Things pretty quiet down in Canal Park right now, but we do have some mid 60s from the harbor to Grand Rapids over toward Hibbing. But again, we all have to watch what's going on out west. Even though there's some warmer conditions, you know, a lot more moisture going to be pumped into the region. A wet weekend ahead of us, but nothing like what they're going to see down toward Texas. And we'll show you a little bit more of those details coming up here in a little while as well. All right, thank you, Justin. The Lake Superior Dragon Boat Festival is back for its 16th year this weekend, and the festivities kick off tonight at Barker's Island. Our Amy Adamley is there right now. Should be a fun night, right, Amy? 
That's right, Renee. They have tons of excitement in store for tonight. The parade is starting here at 6 soon, and then they have the opening ceremony, and then later tonight there'll be live music at the bandstand. But the real excitement starts tomorrow with the races. The mayor of Superior, Jim Payne, is here with me. He's participating tomorrow. Tell me a little bit about this. Uh, this is the largest festival in the city of Superior and my favorite weekend of the year, bar none. This is the Lake Superior Dragon Boat Festival. We're going to have around 70 teams of 20-plus people racing each other all day long tomorrow. And why is this so special? A couple of reasons. So all of the money that goes into this festival goes right back into this community, into the Duluth Superior Area community. Uh, but that's not the first purpose of the festival. The purpose of this festival is to provide a free family fun event for the entire community. And we do that. It is the largest festival that we'll have all year. Awesome. What's it like to be participating in the race? It's the only way to experience the race. you got to be on the water, which is uh, fantastic. We're offering hundreds and hundreds of people the opportunity to do that, including new people. If, if you have not ever been in a dragon boat before or don't have a team, you can feel free to come right on down tomorrow morning. We'll sign you up. We'll get you in a team. We'll put you on Lake Superior tomorrow morning. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here with us today. So that's there's so many different things that you can do. You can just show up, like you said, and participate in the races tomorrow, which is a new thing that they're doing this year. And so there's also some good food that you can come check out tonight and come check out the parade because most of the teams will be participating. So we'll have more tonight at six for you, Renee. Looks like fun. All right. Thank you, Amy. Finishing touches are being put in place inside the brand new Cloquet Middle School. Take a look at the gorgeous pool area ready for swimmers and divers. The school has been laid out in four different wings. The pool is in the D wing. The A wing is the academic wing. Teachers were able to get inside this week and start putting everything together in their rooms. The assistant principal says it's been exciting to see the vision become reality. Uh, the thing I'm really looking forward to is, is just seeing the, the look on their faces when they come in and you know they see the, the lumberjack logo on the, on the floor and the new gym and, and just the, yeah, the academic wings are all kind of color coded by grade and just you know lots of, lots of uh, kind of neat little details like that that I think the kids are really going to enjoy. There will be 800 students in this building come September 6th. We'll bring you more highlights and explain more about the safety and tech features that are built in tonight at 6 o'clock. And it was a pretty nice day for the kickoff of the 56th annual Lakehead Harvest Reunion. The nonprofit educational group puts this event on to showcase the history of agriculture. It's right off the St. Louis River Road near Esco. There's something for everybody. New this year is a motorcycle show with vintage bikes not seen many places at all. And the kids' corral is definitely a hot spot with animals and learning activities. We can't be here and we can't move forward without having our young people understand what, um, what it was like in the older days. I think we got a really good team making, making the harvest show more user friendly for our children who are now in such a digital age with things going on. So I think it's just, just great. Kind of fell in love with the whole operation. The Harvest Reunion runs Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 5, rain or shine. There's also a parade on Saturday afternoon at 4 o'clock. A young man we featured in a parenting story last year is heading to a world championship rock climbing competition. Coulter Holden and his family are heading to Innsbruck, Austria. They leave tomorrow. They are very excited about this. Coulter and his fellow siblings, Cedar, Savannah, and Opal are all avid rock climbers, with Savannah even having a practice climbing wall in her room. The family is from South Range. Earlier today, an amazing effort to give support to homeless and struggling veterans and was well underway. The annual stand down event was held over at the deck. This event is aimed to address veteran homelessness and offers a wide range of services to vets who clearly deserve the support they need. You know, a lot of times you, we try to find a, offer an event and an opportunity for a veteran to come and ask for help. It's harder to walk into offices sometimes, so maybe this is an event where we uh, might entice somebody, uh, interest them in coming out and uh, being with their brothers and sisters, come share some camaraderie. Um, we, you served our country, let us serve you. And if you weren't able to make this event over at Bayfront, the Tribute Fest is continuing to raise funds to fight against veteran homelessness. So if you want to listen to some good music and support the cause, Tribute Fest could be just what you're looking for tonight. So the come year at five, the Gulf Coast is getting ready as Hurricane Harvey plans to hit tonight, making it the first major storm to hit the U.S. in 10 years. And President Trump is turning up the heat on Republicans in Congress to either pay for his wall or face a government shutdown. More after the break.
2017's Gotta Go at Bullion RV. It's model year blowout time, where we've got great deals exploding with huge savings. For first timers, grab this lightweight travel trailer for just $12,295 and $123 a month, or step up to this 29 foot slide out toy hauler. It's only $32,495 and $247 a month. And if a fifth wheel is right for you, this huge triple slide is perfect at just $36,495 and $277 a month, but only from Bullion RV in Duluth, where you can shop over 400 new and used RVs ready for new adventures. Would you like to lose a pound of fat a day? And I was so heavy at the time that I tried to work out and it just hurt my joints. So it gave me an opportunity to lose weight without hurting myself. You didn't have to worry about, you know, spending hours at the gym. I have two kids, so it's, you know, I get my exercise chasing my kids around. That was very important to me. That's what sold me on it, because at first it was like, nah, I said this can't work. And then he says, yeah, you don't exercise. He goes, you'll lose the weight. It's like, okay, let's see. And it did. Order online or call today for a free consultation. By land or by sea, however you travel, the Pickle Toon Saloon is the place to be. We're serving up daily food specials, including all-you-can-eat bluegill fish fry on Monday and our always popular all-you-can-eat crab legs on Friday. Wash it down with one of our 20 rotating tap beers, always featuring Minnesota brews. Whether you're dining inside or on the deck overlooking Pokegama Lake, you'll always find great food and exceptional service at the Pickle Toon Saloon, Grand Rapids. Oh boy. Looking for adventure this summer? Holy smokes. Oh man, that's pretty intense. Look no further than Chevrolet. This is a fast car. I feel like I left my soul back there. Wow, this has power. What a nice car. Go for thrilling drives and deals today at the Chevy Summer Drive. I want to take it home with me. Can I have it? It's the Chevy Summer Drive. Qualified lessees can get this well-equipped Chevy Malibu for around $229 a month. Visit truenorthchevydealers.com. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5 with Renee Passall and meteorologist Justin Lyles. Everyone's eyes are on Hurricane Harvey, including trained volunteers with the Red Cross. And the American Red Cross serving northern Minnesota is sending one of its volunteers down there on Sunday. David Giroux says in a situation like the hurricane where there's flooding, he'll end up coordinating things like cleanup kits with local churches. We'll all bring our, our, our cleanup kits there, so when they come in, they'll take one, rather than going to every group and taking six. This saves the donated dollars to um, help at the disaster to go further by just ha letting them have one rather than five or six. David has been with the Red Cross for eight years, and this will be his 25th national deployment. If you can't do what he's doing, he encourages donations to the Red Cross. And like we said, the Gulf Coast is bracing for Harvey, projected to make landfall tonight as a Category 3 hurricane with winds over 110 miles per hour. That would make it the first major hurricane to hit Texas in 18 years and the strongest storm to make landfall in the U.S. in more than a decade. ABC's Lana Zak is on the ground in Houston as the state of Texas prepares for the very worst. Winds are whipping, rain is falling, and the water is getting choppy along the Gulf Coast. But this nothing compared to what experts say coastal residents of Texas, Mississippi, and Louisiana will experience after Hurricane Harvey hits later tonight. Think of your life first. The most important thing that we're dealing with right now is human life. Among the concerns, massive flooding, three feet of rain in some areas, storm surges projected to reach up to 12 feet, and with all of that flooding, widespread power outages. This storm is not going to play out overnight. When the power goes off, you can expect it to be off three to seven days. Voluntary and mandatory evacuations are in effect. The message heard over and over again, don't risk it. Storm could change, and as they've said, they're not going to come risk it, rescue. Here in Houston, highway warnings tell drivers to prepare. Absolute insanity over this hurricane. While in Corpus Christi, all of the tiniest new residents have been successfully relocated. Children's Health tweeting praise for their support teams that evacuated their NICU there. Here in Houston, America's fourth largest city, the governor is urging people to go north. And I also want to give you a little bit of perspective. Harvey is expected to make landfall as a Category 3 hurricane. The last time America experienced any of those, they were named Wilma and Katrina. Reporting from Houston, Lonazak, ABC News. 
After promising his supporters that Mexico would pay for the wall, President Trump is now taking on a quite different approach. Darren Danielson is here with more on that story in Other World News. Right, Renee, after consistent campaign promises to Americans that Mexico would pay for the wall, President Trump is amping up the pressure on Republicans in Congress, either pay for his wall or face a government shutdown. Getting the votes to increase spending and increase the federal debt limit to enable funding on the wall is an outlier. This is something Democrats and also some conservatives in the House and Senate do not support. The situation is essentially at a stalemate. Either Congress or the president will have to stand down and the White House is saying it won't be the president. A tractor trailer crashed into a sign in Texas causing some panic among nearby drivers. The frightening video shows the moment the big rig with its bucket raised struck a trestle over a Houston highway, sending it crashing to the ground, crushing the truck. No other motorists were reported injured and the condition of the driver is currently unknown. Teenagers Reese McMichael and Rowan Fitch were on a cross-country road trip to start college. Well, after they turned off the trail during what was supposed to be a day-long hike in the Grand Canyon, they got lost for five days. The two were stranded in 100 degree heat, no cell phone signal, and they ran out of water their first day. They survived by drinking from puddles and rationing the one granola bar they each had. After making a big sign out of rocks that pointed to where they were, a helicopter finally spotted them. The teens were dehydrated, but otherwise okay. Renee, more world and national news coming from ABC at 530. And I'm glad those kids thought of that idea. That was smart. Yeah, very smart. All right, thank you. It's the first ever Grand Rapids Train Expo. Check out these beauties at the Central Square Mall. The Itasca County Historical Society is presenting the expo, which runs through Sunday. They're showing off a total of 12 trains, including a centerpiece, which is a display of the towns of Nashwalk and Cooley from the 1940s. Alan Stone created the train and donated it to the Itasca County Historical Society. This will be the first time people will get a chance to see the two replica towns, complete with buildings, cars, and even people. Very cool. Now here are the week's top songs on Mix 108. Hey, what's up? It's Cooper and Gene with the Mix the Right Morning Show. And here's this week's Hot Five. Number five, Slow Hands by Niall Horan. Like Number four, Stay by Zed and Alicia Cara. All you have to do is stay Number three, There's Nothing Holding Us Back by Shawn Mendes. Baby, there's nothing holding me back. Number two, Believer by Imagine Dragons. Hey, you and the number one song this week is Attention by Charlie Puth. You just want attention. We hope you enjoyed this week's Hot 5. Take Mixanoi anywhere with you this summer. Download the Mixanoi app by going to mixanoi.com slash app or searching Mixanoi Duluth in your app store today. With schools back in session for students in Ohio, kids are filling up the classrooms, but this stay-at-home one is getting a little help from her robot. But first, here's Justin. All right, we are looking at some cooler conditions. The clouds have moved in. Now we're all focused on the weekend with some rainfall. How much we're we going to get? Find out coming up next. Modernize your living room by choosing sofas and lamps with USB outlets. Margarita time. <laughs> Save big and receive five-year financing during the Labor Day sale at Schneiderman's Furniture. Exactly. Money talks. And now that every day $5.99 buys you a tasty foot-long steak and cheese, chicken and bacon ranch melt, or Subway Club, my money's saying, what? Subway. So much sandwich. Lake Superior Garden Center wants you to have beautiful, easy to care for gardens and landscapes. We currently have a variety of flowering perennials, a fantastic selection of gorgeous trees, shrubs, and fruit trees. This is the time to plant. Just ask the experts at Lake Superior Garden Center. We carry the plants you need to be successful. Locally owned and operated, just one mile past the soccer fields on Jean Duluth Road. Visit the Lake Superior Garden Center. Ellie the Doodle will be waiting for you. If you're a guy or gal that likes the outdoors, gas up at Lucky 7 because they're making landing a lunker or bagging a 12-pointer easier. Ammo, bait, lures, and clothing are all available at many locations. And now, sporting good purchases accumulate payday dividend points. Save up for a $25 gift card or redeem your points for 11% sporting goods merchandise discounts. Look for the fish emblem at your local Lucky 7 for all your sporting good needs. Lucky 7, where you make one stop and you're good to go. 
iMart Express offers the best value in eyewear. For a limited time, get an eye exam for $39, two pairs of glasses for $38.71, or two pairs with progressive lenses for $76.92. Don't need an exam? Just bring your prescription and save at iMart Express. 365 night sleep trial, night one, and action. You aren't going to do this every night, are you? Maybe. Save up to $500 plus $300 bonus cash on select tempur mattresses during the Labor Day sale at Schneiderman's Furniture. Exactly. The Eyewitness Storm Team Weather Deck is designed by Bending Birch's Greenhouses. Tonight, what would you do in 2020 or all new after ABC's Shark Tank? Then stay tuned for Eyewitness News at 10 with Darren Danielson, the Northland's news leader. You're watching Eyewitness News at 5 on WDIO WIRT. All right, so we were at Harvest Fest today, or Harvest Festival reunion, and mm -hmm. it was a little bit cloudy, but it actually seemed perfect, you know? Yeah, you know, the temperatures haven't been too bad this week. I mean, they've been a bit, little bit on the cooler side, slightly below average by about five to eight degrees, but you know, at least we've had some sunshine mm -hmm. and the winds really haven't been an issue either. So it's actually some pleasant weather. Now today we did see the clouds roll in and you can see just south of us that we do have some light sprinkles rolling through parts of the Northland already. But really what we're focused on is what's out west that'll roll in during the overnight hours and pretty much persist through the weekend. You can kind of see what's going on just south of us here. Uh, around the region, really on Highway 53, stretching down towards, say, Trigo, Minong, uh, over toward Hayward, maybe seeing a little bit of this activity, but uh, parts of southwestern Bayfield County seeing some light rain. So maybe Lake Nebagaman, Gordon, Solon Springs seeing that action as well. Things pretty quiet, although some clouds rolled in, 63 degrees, still holding on to that cooler air off the lake, east-southeast wind. And that wind's really going to stay off the lake. So with the rain heading our way, this five to 15 mile per hour wind off the lake that's been fairly consistent. We should see some fog developing during the overnight hours and really kind of persist through the day tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be kind of a, a gloomy day with persistent rain the majority of the day, as well as having some fog. 60s and 70s right now along areas of the North Shore. We're going to see these showers eventually slide northeastward. Notice by 745, we're looking at some shower activity here and really just stays here through the afternoon and evening hours. And before it kind of, we may get a break around, I don't know, four or five o'clock is what it's looking like right now, but then it's going to return uh, by the time we head into uh, early Sunday morning, as you can see, and then wrap around moisture with this low will bring us some more rain during the day on Sunday. So pretty gloomy over the course of the weekend. How much rain are we looking at? Most of the rain will be from Alexandria to Duluth, we're looking at about an inch, maybe some areas picking up a little more of that heavier amount, but again, looking at this sliding to the east. Now sliding further south, where we're looking at the uh, eye of the storm getting ever so close to coming on shore right now near Corpus Christi, but you can see that it's uh, hurricane warnings pretty much all along the shoreline down there. Now notice it's going to hit as a category three, eventually wind down as a category one by Sunday, and then it's going to kind of rope around and move back up the shoreline. So it's going to train over these same areas and generate just a tremendous amount of rain. Now, this is the amount of rain that's actually going to fall from the sky. Okay, we're looking at about 17 to 20 inches. Now, if you count in the actual water surges and the flooding that this, they'll see with this, two to three feet, certainly a possibility with how much water they're going to be dealing with on the ground. 50s is what, is what we're going to be dealing with tonight here. Some fog uh, near the lake, 52 degrees, 60 up on top of the hill. You can see that tomorrow, most of us hanging out near 60 degrees, a bit of a cool one, highs in the upper 50s up north. And then over the next two days, 48 hours, I know there's some outdoor plans. A Amy Adamley was over at Barker's Island for the Dragon Boat Festival. If you're doing anything outdoors, just have an umbrella and a rain jacket. It's going to be wet all weekend long. We may get a break by the afternoon on Sunday, but otherwise most of the Saturday and Sunday, rain pretty persistent, fog and gloomy. Well, we could handle it. It's not going to be a hurricane, so that's no, good. No, we exactly, right. All right, thank you. Up next on Eyewitness News at 5, our medical segment. After possibly getting a concussion, our players getting the okay to get back on the field too soon. More is coming up next. 
Which of your dreams would come true by winning ten, twenty, or even fifty thousand dollars? You could find out with Fond du Luth Casinos Living the Dream Drawings. Just remember, the last day of the month, starting at six p.m., two winners of two hundred fifty dollars in club cash every half hour, leading up to the ten thirty p.m. grand prize drawing, where one lucky person will win ten thousand dollars cash. Stop by the Players Club or log on to FondaLuthCasino.com for drawing dates and details. You may be living your dream when you have a great time out at Fond du Luth. Whether you're a morning person or simply it's not your thing. Maybe you're the type that doesn't take it that seriously. Or you're that person who just makes everyone's morning brighter. There's a McDonald's for every morning. And right now, start yours by treating yourself to a savory sausage burrito and your favorite size McCafe coffee for just a dollar each. During our grand opening sales event at Kohler Toyota, drive a new Corolla LE for only $159 a month or an all-wheel drive Highlander XLE for $299. Stop by or visit KohlerToyota.com. Should we be doing more to keep college athletes safe from concussions? Well, new findings suggest we just might. With this Medical Minute, here's ABC's Janae Norman. It's the on-the-field injury that has fans, parents, and doctors concerned. A growing focus on concussions. And now a new study of college athletes finding that many players who experience concussions may be told they're ready to play again too soon. Canadian researchers looked at 54 college athletes who played different contact sports and non-contact sports, half with brain injury and half without. What they found in the injured player's brain scans, noticeable damage immediately after injury. Damage that remained even after these players got approval from their doctors to play again. The findings pointing to the usual practice among physicians who rely on physical symptoms and signs but not brain imaging when it comes to giving players the okay to return to the field, sometimes as early as four days after the injury. But these new findings may give doctors and players another reason to take a longer time out after concussion. With this Medical Minute, I'm Janae Norman, ABC News. And like we mentioned before, an intense effort to move sick kids away from the Texas hurricane has been underway since yesterday. Driscoll Children's Hospital in Corpus Christi was evacuating 10 of its sickest and smallest patients out of Hurricane Harvey's path. They moved the babies from their neonatal intensive care unit to the Cook Children's Hospital in Fort Worth. The children flew into Meacham Airport and from there were transported by emergency vehicles. Parents were grateful and relieved as the rest of South Texas hunkers down for that storm. And we'll be right back. Would you like to lose a pound of fat a day? You know, everyone just treats me a little bit differently, a little bit better. You know, I feel more comfortable in social situations. Before, when I walked by a mirror, I would duck. I wouldn't look. Now it's like, who is that girl? Order online or call today for a free consultation. Come home to St. Anne's, celebrating over 50 years of caring. We are conveniently located in the hub of downtown Duluth. We offer private apartments with private bathrooms. Enjoy a beautiful view from one of our five dining rooms. Savor our home-cooked meals and participate in a wide variety of engaging activities. St. Anne's is a faith-friendly environment where pets are always welcome. We are your local nonprofit, senior-assisted, and independent living community. Call 218-727-8831 today to schedule a tour of St. Anne's. Hurry, it's the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event. Shovel. Mulch. Brick pavers. Fence posts. Concrete. We're good. And wood for my castle. We got it. And a slide and a drawbridge. <laughs> Take on summer right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. It's our best offer of the year on F-150. Get 0% for 72 months plus an additional 1000 on top of your trade-in. Now get the built Ford Tough F-150 with 0 for 72 plus 1000 on top of your trade-in. Hurry, the Ford Summer Sales Event and this deal ends September 5th. 2017's gotta go at bullion rv it's model year blowout time where we've got great deals exploding with huge savings for first timers grab this lightweight travel trailer for just 12 295 and 123 a month or step up to this 29 foot slide out toy hauler it's only 32 495 and 247 a month and if a fifth wheel is right for you this huge triple slide is perfect at just 36 495 and 277 a month but only from bullion rv in duluth where you can shop over 400 new and used rvs ready for new adventures would you like to lose a pound of fat a day? 
you have to weigh yourself every morning and when you just see the pound go off every morning it just keeps you going you step on the scale and you see the weight that you lost and you're like oh, this was so easy why didn't i do this before order online or call today for a free consultation and kind of a rainy weekend it is going to be a rainy weekend and then all again we have tribute fest continuing down at bayfront park we have dragon boat festival Barker's Island, you were talking about Harvest Fest earlier. So certainly going to be dealing with uh, some rain showers over the weekend. Bring an umbrella, bring a rain jacket, but warmer weather returns Tuesday and Wednesday. We'll be okay, we'll mm -hmm. dry out. Yep. Thank you. Finally, tonight school's back in session for eighth graders in Ohio, but one student will be attending class while staying home. To get to class each day, eighth grader Leah uses a robot called Vigo, and it's been keeping her in touch with the learning she needs and the classmates she misses and loves. After a five-year battle with brain cancer, Leah's symptoms are just too severe for her to be in a classroom around so many people. So the district just purchased the robot. Now she can listen, take notes, ask questions, and interact with her classmates and friends. Good for her. Thanks for being with us tonight. Well, much more at 6 and 10. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching Eyewitness News, the Northland's news leader. For more, check out our WDIO mobile app or log on to WDIO.com.